Hello everyone, welcome to Ajao Tech. Mm -hmm. Ajao Tech. In this video, we're going to be looking at um, the count if, some if, and average if. And this has come as a video requested by by Lena, who's preparing um, for his early IGCC. And he was like, uh, Mr. Ajao, please can you do a video on the some if, the count if, and the average if for more understanding. And yes, this is me doing a video based on that request okay so let's look at this when we talk about the count if right this counts a range of cell which includes a specific criteria okay so it has a range it has then a criteria right here and when we talk about the count if we know count right including range of cells that includes only number and for count a we'll count the cells which are not empty then when it comes to count if with which has the range and then the criteria, it simply means that when you reference to a criteria, you either write the criteria in speech marks, right? Or you reference to a cell that contains the criteria. Okay, so we have a range and in that criteria is going to pick out from the range the numbers of what um, we are calling items and it's going to return it to you. That's what the count if does. Then for the sum if we have the sum if we have the range, the criteria, and then we have what the sum range. Okay, that's how it works. Okay, so here we have the range, and then we have a criteria, and it's going to pick up from the criteria and return the amount of time, right? That criteria is occurring, and then with what sum them together. Okay. The, right here you see that this will sum up only the criteria values from the sum range for the average if it behaves the same the difference between the sum range and the average if is the fact that there's a range there's a criteria why for the sum if you have the sum range for the average if you have what the average range okay still the same thing but different um calculations that is being done Okay, so right here, it, you have the range, the criteria is going to go to that range and return um, the amount divided and will bring, well, give us what an average of them. For example, if I look at an average of four, you have two. Okay, if I look at an average of six, you have um, um, a three. So what it's going to do right there is it's going to pick up from that range, right? The criteria from that range, how many times they are appearing and then it's going to do division and then it's going to return it to you. Okay, that is what we are seeing here. That's why over here we have a range. Over here we have an average range. And this is the criteria that we are picking from. So we have Samsung to see how many times Samsung are appearing. So we have one, two, three. Okay, three Samsung is going to add them together. It's going to divide them. And then you have what um, the value there. Okay, so let's look at this in a more practical terms. Okay, now to do this, right, the first thing I want to talk about is name range. Okay, because most time you might face this in IGCC, ICT, or maybe any external exam. And even if you're working on finance, okay, you're working with money you, that has to do with, um, you have to, you want to work with spreadsheet and it will make your work a whole lot easier if you actually make use of this function. Okay. So the, the, what I want to talk about is what the name range. Now for the name range, this simply means giving name, giving a name to a range of cell. And right here, all you have to do is, for example, I want to give a name range to country. So all I have to do, I'm going to shift control, select all of them. Okay. All of them. And then I'm going to go to formulas and I'm going to define the name and I'm going to put here country. Now the scope is going to be the workbook because you can be able to reference this name range in any of the worksheet. Okay. Then this is where it refers to. I want to explain this. This means the end the equals to N22 donate simply means what? The name of what? The name of what? The worksheet. Okay. The name of the worksheet. And then we have what? The cell reference, right? Which is what? B29 to what? B115. Now notice that there is a dollar sign. This means that this is what? An absolute cell what? Reference. Okay. Because the rows at the columns, okay, and rows I'll be what locked in. So if I click on OK, this is what happens. Anytime I want to call this range, okay. For example, I want to do maybe equals to count if. 
all right the range i can say country now notice that country becomes what a name range if i click on country automatically this cell is going to be what highlighted that is how you can give a name to a range of cell which is called what a name range all right now to find out how many um name range that has been how many name range has been defined all you have to do here is right here in formula you're going to click on what the name manager okay you're going to click on what the name manager when you click on the name manager it's going to bring out the names that you have defined the range of cells that what that has been what defined for example proposing for igcc you can be able to click on edit and then you can be able to take what your screenshot okay all right so now let's dive into what the count is to do that i'm going to say equals to count if the range i'm going to pick this donated to shift control i go down and notice that it's going to change to what a name range to that have been defined comma what's the criteria this is the criteria and i'm going to close it now this is going to specify the numbers of what donation these people have donated to what um to this project name which is 20 times that t whole world have been donated to 20 times okay now don't mind the dollar sign because for this column this was defined as what currency okay and to define currency you click on home and then number and right here currency and then you can specify numbers of decimal places that you want as much as possible all right that's for count if okay for some if this is what will happen delete equals to to begin your formula sum if you range so you have a range so i'm going to select this range shift control i go down comma what's the criteria okay now the criteria is going to be what this okay now the criteria is going to look up from the range and comma return what the sum range what will be the sum range the sum range here is going to be what the amount okay numbers okay for example in the supermarket it could be items okay so shift control i go down this has also been defined what as what a name range and i'm going to close it and i'm going to hit on enter and this is the total amount that has been donated to what the project and for replication if you want to replicate instead of doing the formula again and again you can just take your cursor right here where it changes to what the black cross drag it down this is your fill handle and the formula is going to be what replicated i'm going to delete this and finally the average if to do the average if i have equals to average if my range so i'm going to select my range shift control arrow down comma the criteria i'm going to select this as my criteria comma the average range right i'm going to which is the amount i'm going to select this shift control arrow down which is now a name range that has been defined i'm going to close it and this is going to pick out the average okay it's going to calculate the average numbers of times right we've done count we've done some if and then the average is going to calculate how many times and then it's going to make the division and then return it to us so this is how the count if some if and average if works and finally before i go don't forget to subscribe to my youtube channel agile tech trust me this youtube channel is loaded with igcc ict people one people two and people three and not just on igcc alone on other um examination and um, papers that relates to ict and also on technology as well okay how you make it with an iphone and of course programming is also coming in here so it trust me this youtube channel is what loaded please this is what you do for me share this youtube channel with your friends okay Pe uh, to your classmates that pay for icc ict and trust me that is the best gift you will be doing for them this channel is loaded what are you waiting for hit on the subscribe button and i'll see you in my next video bye bye